Hello everybody, Paulo Arastek, spiritual teacher, channeler of healing. I'm getting ready to start my daily remote healing with my clients. Let me just shift this video. New moon, new moon energy. What is new moon? It's new beginnings, Paul. Yes, new beginnings for everybody. Schumann Resonance, is, there's been a lot of 3D clearing as we stroll through these beautiful gardens. Been a lot of new energy, a lot of new beginnings. If a lot of you may be ex experiencing stress, experiencing anxiety, magnified. So even though the Schumann Earth energy, 5D energy, is relatively mild, relatively calm, there is a lot of 3D purging. There is a lot of energy that's surfacing from your childhood. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Let me know if you have been experiencing dreams to where you are in your childhood neighborhood or your home. I'd love to know what all of you have been purging. Here in beautiful Britain, this place used to be a monastery. Beautiful energy to do this video. New beginnings. Okay. We're also experiencing a heightened awareness, a super sensitivity, if you will, to outside energies. We are all going through a massive attunement. I'm going to take you through this secret garden type of area. Absolutely beautiful. It's like Narnia and shit. I'm waiting for some fawn type of thing to come running at me. I want everybody to know that this is a very powerful time of new beginnings. So setting your intentions is very important. Out with the old, in with the new. What is it that you would like to do? What steps would you like to take? Are you willing to release what doesn't serve you on this new moon? Are you willing to let go of old structures? The last video or two. I've been talking about this, letting go of the baba, letting go of the blankie, letting go of your comfort zone. I mentioned in la the last few videos that if you are stuck in one particular way of doing something, you will be faced with the resistance of it. And remember, the pain is the resistance to change. I feel it's very important to breathe, to breathe through the anxiety, to ground. That's why I'm beginning my day here, very close to where I am. Doing my remote healings. Look at this. Set new intentions today. New intentions of what you choose to be doing. Recognizing today, where are your structures? 
Where are your safe zones? Where are the walls of your comfort zone and where you can break them down? I think it's very easy, especially with the heightened sensitivity. As I'm going to take a seat over here and switch the camera back. Hello. Where is it? That you are resisting change. Where is it? Where is the fear? Where is the fear that you are experiencing? Because I promise you, when you break that threshold, when you break out of your comfort zone, when you walk through the fear, you will turn around and look back at those safety nets. You'll look back at that baba or the blankie, whether it's an emotional one, a mental one, a physical one. I'm telling you, you will look back and say, what did that have over me? What power did that have over me? Because you will look back with completely different lenses. Fear is ego, love is higher self. I think it's very important during these times to, as soon as you wake up, start to raise your frequency. Focus on the words, unconditional love. I am that I am, my truth, my higher self. It may be difficult to do normal things that may have been very easy before, but now really high anxiety. It's a lot of what we are experiencing is the adjustment, not just with us, but with the world. Okay, the entire world is shifting. But when you understand that when you can wake up and raise your, your frequency into higher self, into universal oneness, into the awareness that you are okay, your higher self knows you. God has its light and love wrapped around you continuously. Have you noticed on your path that as you continue on your path, you can, you can go through all this illusions of horror and fear and and then you can look back and go wow that worked out perfectly even though I was kicking and screaming and writhing in pain and I didn't want to let go of these specific safety nets mental emotional physical you know a lot of you may feel like you're disconnected from source that's because you have a structure set up that does not serve you anymore and that structure needs to be inhaled, exhaled, blow it down with the golden white light. It's a free-falling experience. Make sense? Make sense to why there's all this added extra anxiety? You're a new uncharted territory. Your sensories have never experienced such high-frequency energy as you are right now. So you may be experiencing stress and anxiety that doesn't logically line up to what you're going through from day to day. Good. You know, you all wanted a new change. I've said in many videos before, what does not serve you cannot go with you. This is a path of total transformation. Embrace it. If you find yourself in a situation that you're uncomfortable and your old ways wants to control it, wants to manipulate it, wants to say, no, I, I can't do that today. I'm busy. Check with yourself. Tap into higher self. And say, no, I can do this. Let's see what presents itself. Because what you're protecting yourself from is the bliss of the journey. That's the bliss. 
the elixir, if you will, of life is blissfully flowing into the unknown. Blessings to all of you for the highest of good. Let it be done, and so it is done.